Over the years, Guam has become a top tourist destination for people all over the world. Most of Guam's economy depend on tourism. On December 7, 1994, Guam welcomed its millionth arrival. Over the past 20 years, Guam has increased its visitors by 30%. In 2014, Guam welcomed 1.3 million visitors. By 2020, Guam has a projected goal of 2 million visitors, which is a 50% increase in the next five years. An extra 700,000 visitors annually will have a huge impact on Guam's environment, infrastructure, and quality of life. Water is one of the most critical natural resources that humans have. Although Guam is surrounded by water, salt water is non-potable. The tourism industry uses a great amount of fresh water to power hotels, swimming pools, and golf courses. An increase of visitors could deplete our freshwater resource, and with global climate change, it is possible to see longer dry seasons, which could be detrimental to our water supplies. Tourists must travel thousands of miles to reach our beautiful island, and once they're here, they must also find other means of transportation to visit the various tourist spots. Transportation emissions continually add to the increase of CO2 in the atmosphere. Noise pollution from various transportation and recreational vehicles has become a growing problem in modern society. In addition to causing health problems for humans, noise pollution also causes distress for wildlife. Many of Guam's public beaches lack proper trash bins. The lack of proper ways to dispose solid waste is a huge problem for areas with high tourism activities. The increase in tourism could double our trash pollution, which would be detrimental to our coral reef and local wildlife. With the increase of tourism, new infrastructure must be created in order to accommodate the anticipated 2 million visitors. Sandy beaches and riversides are often transitional zones for animals. Building hotels, restaurants, roads, and other facilities to accommodate tourism will have huge impacts on the natural wildlife on Guam. As more tourists visit, more areas must be cleared, taking away homes of what little native wildlife Guam has left. Extensive use of hiking trails can also lead to a loss in biodiversity due to the trampling of vegetation and soil. Although Guam is known for its beautiful coral reef, water activities such as snorkeling and scuba diving can have huge impacts on the coral reef. The lack of awareness in living organisms and the fragile lives of corals can cause direct degradation of marine ecosystems, coastal protection, and fisheries. Tourists have now become normal parts of our everyday lives. They have played such a huge role in Guam's economic success and development. But at what cost? What did we really give in return for Guam's development? Our culture? Our identity? Our heritage? Is Guam truly ready for 2 million visitors a year? Or is it just 2 million too many?